Hey chickadees, how you doing? Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we are Two Real Chicks, keeping it real for you. And today we are going to talk about the foundation that absolutely everyone is talking about, and that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I wanted to see if it was living up to the hype. So I'm actually wearing this today. This is the foundation and I'm in the shade Nude Ivory. This comes in 20 different shades, which is really? very impressive for an, if any foundation, but one that cost so little. This online sells for $5.99. I got it at Walmart for $4.99. It's a glass bottle and it comes with this type of dispenser. It's, oh. a, it's a paddle, a spatula. This is an interesting foundation. Yeah, because you didn't really care for it at first. The first couple of times that I used it, I didn't like it. In fact, I was quite disappointed. I'm thinking, what is all the hype about? Because the first couple of times I used it, I used it with a primer. And I used just a primer that I normally use. I think it was an e.l.f. one. And I felt like I had a mask on. It was very evident that I was wearing foundation. It didn't oxidize. It didn't change color. It just sat there and was very apparent she's got foundation on her skin. I didn't feel that wonderful smooth texture that everyone was talking about. So I decided to play with it. And that's what you're going to have to do with this. This is most likely not going to be a hit for you the first time that you use it. Also, I noticed the first few times that I used it, it broke up around my nose and I had the polka dots around the nose. It broke up around my pores. And I'm thinking, what is with this? So then I tried it with another primer. And again, it was a silicone based primer. I used the Benefit Professional Primer. I had the same result. So I'm thinking, Maybe it's the silicone base in the primer. Then going back, I tried it with no primer at all. I just put on all of my skincare and my moisturizer and didn't use a primer. That was when it was the charm for me. And if you're thinking, well, you can't use it without a primer, sure you can, because the whole point of a primer is to get it to stick to your skin. It's stuck to my skin without the primer. So when I used it with no primer, I then got the hype. It went on velvety smooth. A little goes a long way because the spatula spreads it for you. It has high spreadability. And I just take it straight from the spatula and put it right onto my face. If you prefer to put it on the back of your hand or on your sponge or your brush, that's fine. I also find that I prefer to use my fingers to apply it and then go back over it with a beauty blender. Nice. It has a nice velvety texture and finish to it. When I used it with a primer, it even settled into my fine lines as well as into my pores. So then when I played with it a bit, then I got what everybody was talking about. Once you figure out the technique that you need to use for your skin, I did test it in photographs. It has no photo flashback. And that's the big hype about this, that you can use it in selfies or special occasion photography, maybe weddings or parties or something like that. And you won't get that white cast flashback. And that does work. I tested it and it does have a beautiful velvet smooth finish. Now I'm wearing a tiny amount of powder. Feel my face. Wow, that's amazing. Is that not that's smooth? So smooth? It's not a matte, it's not a luminous look. It's just that velvet, velvet. soft, soft, touchable. I've had very little transfer with this. I do like it once I figured out what I need to do for me. So I'm going to suggest that this is one that you will probably have to play with. For that reason, out of two thumbs up, I'm going to give it a one, one and a half. But the more that I'm using it, the more I'm liking it and closer to two thumbs up. And having to play with it for $4.99 doesn't bother me. No. Because for $4.99, it's definitely worth trying. I don't know that I'll reach for this all the time, but the more that I play with it, the more I'm starting to like it, the more that I use it, I'm like, no. I'm starting to see what the hype is about. And I do like the finish that, I get, that it gives to my skin. And once I figured out whether I needed primer or just moisturizer, no more settling in the fine lines, no more crepiness, no problems at all, and it doesn't look like a mask at this point. No, no. It's beautiful. For five, six bucks, it's definitely worth trying out. And as far as those of us who are over 40 with mature skin, 
once you figure out whether you need a primer or not and what kind of primer you need, it is definitely a go. So give it a try. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, two real chicks approved. Thank you for sharing that. Well, I wanted to try this because I wanted to see if it was a dupe for something that I had in my collection. It was not. It is a finish like nothing I've ever seen before. I have heard some people say it's a dupe for Tom Ford and that it's a dupe for Marc Jacobs. So if you have one of those, try it and see because if it is, you'll save a ton of money. Absolutely. Great job. It looks gorgeous. Thank you. I do like the way that it's turning out the more that I use it and the more that I play with it. So that's going to be the trick with this. Test it, try it out, see how it works for you and what combination you need to do to get it to that velvety smooth finish that it promises. If you have tried this, would you leave a note in the, in the comments below and tell us how you liked it? If you haven't and you go out and get it, let us know how you like it. And while you're down there in that little comment section, there's a subscribe button. I want you to click it. And then there's this little bell. Ding! If you'll hit that, then you will hear every time we upload a new video. We upload at least once a week, usually twice a week. For Two Real Chicks, I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And until next time, mwah! We love you. Love Bye! You.